Man, oh man, have you all been noticing something very impressive has been going on. The, the great clearancing of 2023. Now, I, uh, I honestly was wondering when some of this stuff was going to go on clearance. And no sooner did it hit my local Walmart and Target and a couple of other little smaller stores. No sooner did the, the uh, items hit the shelves did they turn around and just get clearanced out? It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I literally, I, I, I was just like, I walked in one day. There was nothing on the shelves. Like it was just the regular old crap. <laughs> it was like you know those GI Joe, uh, 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 GI Joe uh, Snake Eyes movie figures. Uh, some burnt out, worn out Marvel Legends like freaking. Uh, Darwin, like 20 Darwins and, and like, like 10 Vulcans and like the siren figure or whatever it was. Um, that was pretty much all that was around. And all of a sudden the next day I go into my local Walmart to, uh, pick up some, uh, uh some beer and, and get ready for a nice weekend of, of NFL football. And I just happened to stroll that way just to see, you know, maybe, probably nothing's changed in a day, but I'll, I'll peek, I'll peek in. And all of a sudden, boom. Yeah. Like, literally, boom. All of these things right here, and I'm, I'm pulling up on the screen. All of these, all on clearance. 50% off, 75% off, insane prices insane i got i got all these for like various prices like now i got this legacy override again um now i did a review on this and i said it's an okay figure but it's definitely not worth voyager prices it's not a 30 dollar figure at all now at 25 dollars and then 75 percent off um yeah it's definitely a good deal it's a it's a good figure for that price <laughs> i mean and the same thing for this uh uh road hauler um you know honestly this is one of my favorite molds to come out of war for cybertron um i love the grapple mold i think it works better on inferno and this mold is better than the grapple this is the same exact mold but the improvements are better than the grapple because the legs the uh back pegs don't break and everything like that but yeah this is definitely a, a fine fine pickup next thing was uh this samuel l jackson oh man mace windu now, I don't know the full story. I don't know if this is a re-release. I don't know what this is um, because I only have the original Black Series Mace Windu, the one with the not so great looking head where he looks kind of like, you know, your Uncle Rufus. <laughs> but, you know, looks like a character from the Boondocks or some shit like that. But like, yeah, this, no, I gotta say, this one is a, this is a fun figure. Well done, well done. I, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this figure. The soft goods, it's it's they're pretty pliable. They, they, you know, you're able to quasi pose this dude around. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Then we got uh Ulick. Ulick. My man Ulick. So I don't know what it was about this dude, but they had five of them in my Walmart that they were clearancing out. And all of them, the eyes were jacked, man, on the the, the original head. The eyes are just jacked. They're like all over the place. The screaming head is the one where the eyes actually are looking straight. He doesn't like have a lazy eye and shit. Like that shit's embarrassing. But yeah, like I was just like, ah, you know, whatever. But I'll pick him up because you know, whatever. For for the whopping uh, eleven dollars I paid for him, I was like, yeah, I think it's, I think it, I could, I, I, I could sleep at night knowing I only paid eleven dollars for this bad boy. You know, the alternate heads. The, alternate hands you know he has the axe yeah, he's cool he's a cool cat he's a cool figure cool little figure 
but I think the piece de resistance was the uh, was, was me walking into a tar walking into the Target, the local Target, and um, looking in these the, the uh, fig section and noticing that the Iron Spider was fifteen dollars. It was half off. Fifteen fifty for this figure, and let me tell you something: thirty-one dollars. This shit is a jib. For fifteen dollars, this shit is dope. <laughs> like this shit is dope for fifteen dollars. I mean, this is definitely a fifteen-dollar figure for real. For real, like you know, there's no. I I don't see much about this figure that that screams thirty-one dollars. The accessories you know the 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 talons or whatever the hell that people call them i forgot what they call them i don't know shit anyway but like <laughs> they like they're not they're not accessories that's a part of the figure so i'm just like what in what world do you justify 31 dollars for this figure i could justify 15 dollars for sure but yeah i mean all of this like i even got at that same target i was able to get the uh batman arkham city uh solomon grundy wave three of the figures not like i was able to get the raza ghoul the batman and the penguin for 5.99 each i say that again 5.99 each on clearance the Catwoman was gone, of course, because you know, you ain't ain't nobody turning out that ass. <laughs> I'm, I'm have to pay. I'm have to pay full price for that ass, though. But <laughs> but but yeah, like this is this is this is all of these things. I, I mean, I I'm picking up. I picked up a couple of retro Beast War figures for uh for for seven ninety nine. I think they came out or eight ninety nine, something like that. But it, it this is like. This is begging a bigger question for this video. Um, are we? Are, is this going to be the year where they're just going to be clearancing everything out in store to try to just get the inventory going? Because I feel like inventory, the, the, there's still going to be a ton of inventory flowing into stores, and they're just right now they're trying to get rid of everything from Christmas. To try to make room for everything coming in in the spring and i i i think there's going to be an overabundance of that this year i think there's going to be an overabundance of that going into summer and summer all the spring stuff's going to get clearanced out i don't i i don't see like even with the pre-orders this year i haven't pre-ordered i don't really do pre-orders that much but when i do they i really want the figure i'm not even bothering I'm not even bothering because I, I just have this strange feeling this year that there is going to be a ton of figures on clearance this year. I'm looking at some of these uh, Marvel Legends waves and I'm just like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff is going to go on clearance. I'm looking at some of these McFarlane waves and uh, um, same thing. I think some of these are going to, uh, a lot of these are going to go on clearance. Um, I'm looking at well, Black Series, I mean, Star Wars is pretty much a dead franchise, so any, <laughs> any, anything you can find from Star Wars, God bless, uh, that's actually dope, like, God bless, um, and Transformers, I think, same thing, Transformers is going to start getting clearance out as well, I mean, my store, my local store still has a, a bunch of the uh, Legends figures, and a bunch of the older Studio Series, uh, 86 figures, um, they're just sitting there peg warming. It's just going to probably be a matter of time before they're just like the hell with it, clearance it out. And I'm, you know, listen, I'm here for it because I have a strange feeling, uh, 2023, the way, the way the economy is starting to look, I'm, uh, I'm starting to think this might be a clearance year for me. Um, I <laughs> like not since 2020 going into early 2021 have i been like ah, i'm gonna have to play that clearance game man i don't know <laughs> i don't know man i don't know i don't know what's going on i'm gonna have to play that clearance game but i i, I feel like we're we're gonna be experiencing that i i, I think hasbro 
is going to do one of uh, they're probably going to do a couple of sales this year um, I'm assuming they're what is it May or June when they do that that sale I think that's going to be like a much deeper discount sale for Hasbro Pulse and the stores are just I think they're going to revolt I don't think they're going to be carrying as much or if they do carry it they're going to start putting stuff on sale like tar I, I'm going to safely assume Target's going to throw a bunch of stuff on sale periodically every quarter they're just going to start just trying to unload everything that's going to show up at their warehouses and showing up at their stores locally they're just going to try to clearance they're trying to clear it all out without putting it on clearance they're just going to throw sales up you know work with work with hasbro to make a uh, uh, legit sales <laughs> and, and once again i'm here for it i'm here for it if they're if they're going to give us the figs for decent prices you know twenty dollars and under I'm here for it. I'm here for it. They want to do that. Was it that buy one, get one half off thing or whatever the hell they were running? I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here. So, so with the, you know, constant inflation that's a, happening around us is, you know, honestly, like the grocery store runs, I've had to cut back my drinking because I'm just like, yeah, I got to feed my kids. <laughs> like, God damn, I got to feed my kids. It's like, now you 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 go to the store with a hundred dollars you know back you know a couple of years ago you go to the store with a hundred dollars you came back with like 12 bags full of just stuff now you go to the grocery store you know and a hundred dollars man you'd be lucky if you get two bags man this is crazy well unless you shop at whole foods you shop at whole foods yeah um yeah, you ain't getting shit. <laughs> Hundred dollars at Whole Foods. Oh man, you'd be lucky if you get like half a bag of shit. Like God damn. But yeah, like it, it, it the economy starting. The economy really is starting to make me have to take a step back and like figure out where exactly I'm gonna carve out things this year. Um, am I gonna go? Am I gonna go? higher end figures which means i'm probably going to end up with like one or two figures a quarter or am i going to go sort of just wait for the clearance and just grab them as i can i don't know but yeah that's a good question for the video though it's like what what is going to be your collecting strategy are you going to be waiting around for clearances are you going to be just sort of you're just up front you're just going for everything up front because you just want you you're enjoying what you're seeing like those marvel legends x-men waves or um you know they're they're dropping the knights of the old republic for black series uh they're dropping um the uh legacy energized or, or legacy whatever the hell they're called um for <laughs> for transformers mcfarland's dropping the you know a million and a half batmans plus some other figures uh what what is your collecting strategy going to be for 2023 if you were to map out what the next 12 months were going to be what what's going to be your collecting strategy i'm, I'm going to make another video about this but i, I want to know in the comments what's your collecting strategy going to be going into 2023 doing 2023 right now now the other thing about this whole overabundance of inventory is that you know this is good good for us this is good i think i would hope i would hope that hasbro and uh you know rumor has it mcfarland's raising their prices up they're going up to 22 um neca companies like that my hope my hope is is that they see that stuff's just not leaving their warehouses as fast as possible it's not leaving it's not hitting distribution as fast as it usually does that maybe they start to realize that the prices are just too damn high you know maybe they're they, maybe they can take a little bit of exception on us and try to relieve some stress on the collecting community because remember we're adult collectors the adult collecting community honestly doesn't really account for much for most companies like hasbro their big thing are board games and card games 
those are the biggest money makers for them even though they're they're currently effing up all kinds of effing up on the card games <laughs> but but yeah like do you think they're going to lower prices if they see that things are just going to sit there bare bones or just nothing's moving or do you think what well this is what i'm thinking full disclosure i think they're going to start to throw a little more in the box to justify the price they're not going to raise the prices you know with the way things are going with hasbro they can't afford to keep raising prices it's just not going to work so are they just going to start throwing more stuff in the box to entice you to pay the higher prices are you willing to pay the higher prices if they throw more in the box and just just an idea just an idea i know hasbro's not going to listen to my freaking microscopic channel but you never know you never know but yeah i um i'm seriously thinking that uh 2023 might turn into an interesting year for us i think if we kind of hold strong we might uh be able to vote with our dollars and the vote with our dollars is you know lower prices and you get our money oh pipe dream maybe but i've seen stranger things anyway with that please feel free to like share comment subscribe make sure you check out the community tab on the page i post deals daily that i find and i try to get them out to everybody so everybody can uh get those figs man try to get them as got to get them as cheap as possible and check out my amazon affiliate link in the description and click on that if you uh need to purchase anything from amazon uh all you have to do is click away it doesn't cost you anything extra and amazon pays me a, a small commission for everything you buy it's a great way to support the channel and i really appreciate it if you do if you've done it before i appreciate it if you're going to do it in the future i appreciate it as well if you're currently doing it i appreciate it <laughs> and uh yeah with that be safe be good and this is the drunken prime cracking open another beer and signing off <laughs>